Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as you know, it's getting pretty close to the holidays and I'm so excited. So of course I'm gonna be celebrating with my dolls. So Thanksgiving is the closest holiday for me anyways. So of course, you know, Thanksgiving, a day to give thanks to everyone, your family, and of course you need a turkey. The only Barbie turkey that I have is like this really, really small shrimpy one. So I was thinking, hey, why don't I buy another doll turkey? Well, they were way too expensive. And anyways, I look up and there's like tons of how to make miniature doll sized turkeys. And I'm like, well, let's try it ourselves. So I'm pretty sure every doll crafter or just doll fan knows that My Froggy Stuff is the ultimate doll crafting channel. So I'm going to be using this My Froggy Stuff how to make doll food, turkey, and dressing. I don't care if this video is six years old. We're gonna try it anyways. So let's get started. I to make your doll seems the doll So we're gonna be making salt dough for this video, so I reckon I'll need some salt. Probably some flour too. Okay, okay, they're already getting ahead of me here. Two parts flour, so I guess that means two of these in our bowl here. One, okay. I've actually made salt dough before. So I know what I'm doing halfway. Okay, let me wash off my hands. Now, one part salt. Okay, let me just pour this. Hopefully we don't spill anything. I'm gonna try to get this plenty even. That'll be good. And one part water. Okay, this looks kind of weird, but let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay, so it said when it has the consistency of Play-Doh. It's kind of gooey still, I think. This is kind of fun to do. Um, I mean... It's pretty good. I can like feel the salt in there. Yeah, this will be good probably. Hold oh, on, out of rags. So I've got this pan to put it on, along with a small Altoids for the pan to size it, and another turkey to compare it to, plus this. I don't even know what that is, just another tray. But now on for the hard part, the turkey making. Okay, I'm gonna start by shaping the turkey's body, I guess. Man, we've got a lot of dough here, but I mean, to make this dude, I'm just gonna need a little bit. Like that much maybe. So I'm trying to make this look like a turkey sized thing, but like it just looks weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and, well, stick a toothpick through it so it will soften inside, I think. I don't know, they did that on the video. Now for the four limbs. I'm just gonna be using this as a guide, frankly. Just like press it onto a side and this is supposed to be a drumstick. We can fix this. Maybe. Ok, 
Okay, so we got the thighs on. I mean, they kind of look odd and out of place, but enough to kind of resemble a turkey. Anyways, let's finish up on the front legs of the turkey. So now apparently it's only a little bit before the salt dough starts to dry and get cracky, which it already is, and I didn't know that. So now we gotta hurry up and make these leg things. But guys, these turkey legs look bad, but it's getting really hard to use this dough because it's totally cracking up. So I'm gonna have to go with this. Now oh, the oven's preheating, so I'm gonna put this in when it's done. Well, it's been about three minutes, and let's just say I've gotten very creative. I've made three turkeys, then at the end of the video there were how to make these little bun cakes. I don't know what they're called. Use my turkey as a base, plus all these little chicken drumsticks to eat separately. Uh, the turkeys, I made three different ones, so hopefully one of these will turn out right. But anyways, I'm gonna be cooking these in the oven now. Okay, now they're all out of the oven. They just came out, so they're really, really hot. But I'm gonna give them a minute to cool, then we'll go ahead and paint them and color them to be the right colors. Man, this one is huge. I don't know if I was supposed to keep the toothpicks in these little chicken wings, but I did. Um, the turkeys don't look too bad. The wings on this one look kind of weird. Um, the dough things came along pretty well. They're halfway hot. And I mean, okay, this one's probably my best one, but I mean, it turned out pretty good. So let's wait, paint them, and then we'll see how they look in the end. So it's been probably about 15 to 30 minutes and the turkeys are dry. I've just got to peel them off. So now I'm going to be mixing a variety of these craft paints here to make a turkeyish color like this, you know, just kind of to give it a baked look because right now it just looks like a raw dough turkey. So I've mixed the goldish yellow and the tan color to make kind of a turkey colored skin. I'm going to go ahead and put this on one of them and see how it looks. Using chalk pastels, I'm going to brush on this orangish color onto my turkey to make it look cooked. And here we are, all three of the turkeys are done and they actually look pretty good. I mean, better than what I thought they would turn out with. Definitely different from this one, but I mean, I'm happy with it. The drumsticks look great. These look great. I'm gonna have to find something for icing. Now all that's left to do is add a layer of Mod Podge over these just so they stay painted and an extra layer of protection. Then it'll be all good to go. And we're done. Happy crafting!